up guys, I am here, I'm getting ready to moisturize and stretch out my mini twists using a blow dryer. Um, so I haven't popped in in a while, so these are my mini twists that I did a little, sorry that's my phone, a little over a week ago. Um, it's a little bit dry, it's a little bit stiff, but they still look pretty pretty good, I must say. Um, so yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. So to start off, I'm going to section off my hair into four sections, um, just for control and to uh, basically maintain order and make this process go a lot faster. <clears throat> and yes, um, this is all my hair. I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking if I added extensions. I don't know why, because it doesn't look that long to me, but okay, whatever. It's all my hair. Um, the mini twists, I did them very, very small, and they took me, I wasn't really keeping count, but I would say it took me about uh, nine hours, nine or ten hours to do all at once. I, I didn't do it all at once. I did it, you know, over the course of like three days or something. Cause I was sick and I was staying at home so here we go I got my four sections here now um, I am gonna be using my blow dryer to stretch out my mini twists <clears throat> and um, let, me, let me just go in order so this is not too confusing so I'm gonna work one section at a time let's start here I'm gonna split this section in half you don't want to work with too much hair all at once and what I'm going to do God I have so many hangnails what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my water bottle and this contains water as well as the organic root stimulator elasticity leave-in uh, conditioner just going to lightly dampen my hair we're not oversaturating it we just want to moisturize it with some water okay so there it goes as you saw, I didn't use a whole lot of water. Um, after that, I'm gonna let the, my hair absorb in the water for about a good 15 seconds or so. So, yeah. All right, so I'm back. All right, my hair has immediately softened from absorbing in that water. I can feel the difference. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is uh, add a little bit of oil, just a little bit. We don't want to go heavy handed with, with products. We want to keep it light, especially with protective styles. I'm using the um, Entwine, uh, what is this, the Total Perfection Argan Oil. Yeah. Um, just a little bit of that, just to coat my hair, um, to seal in moisture, to add protection from the heat I'm about to apply my hair, and yeah. I'm also going to use just a little bit of the Aphrodisia 9 leave-in by Entwine. Now I prefer to use the what is it called? Exotique Buttercream Hydrator by Entwine but I actually left that at the shop so I'm just going to use this because it's very light and just because I have it. Now I do have a little build up here. I used um let me show you what I use. I try to use this Garnier Fructis um, Tough It Out glue um, because I try to like smooth my edges in there because I'm growing this part back in and it just left me with a lot of buildup so I'm never going to use this on myself or anyone else. <coughs> oh God, I'm so sick. Mmm. <coughs> I'm sorry y'all, I'm really going through it right now. So I have all those products in my hair. My hair is softened, my hair is damp. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the blow dryer and uh, I have my blow dryer set. Uh, I'm gonna set it to warm and I'm gonna set the speed on high. And I'm going to use the tension method. Now when you're using the tension method, you don't just wanna hold your hair out and just blow at your hair. You don't want to do this. What this is going to do is ruffle your cuticles. It's going to um, 
you can end up damaging the uh, cuticles because you're blowing against it. What you want to do when you use the tension method, you want to use some form of heat, whether it's warm or hot, preferably warm heat, and you want to direct the air downward like this towards the ends because that's where the cuticles, that's how they naturally lay flat. So what you're doing when you do this is you're actually smoothing out the cuticle with the, the air and um, you're not blowing against it, making it look frizzier, making it look duller. You're actually going to give your hair a little bit more shine by directing the air towards the ends at an angle. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. There we go, that's the first section, and you see it's stretched, it has a lot of movement, it's not acting crazy, and I'll go ahead and pull this side down just so you can see the difference. Okay, so I got a little bit of stretch from that, my hair is laying a lot better, it feels very, very soft, it feels moisturized, compared to this side, it feels a little rough, it feels a little just all over the place. So that's how I'm doing this, okay?